Hey guys, so welcome to me opening a Magic 2014 core set booster. I'm not a huge Magic player, I mean, I like it, I really like the game. Don't really have a place super close by to play, and I literally just got done recording my Time for a Brew segment and for today, for Vita. I have not m even opened I've not even really seen any of the cards other than watching some of the Magic Pro Tour. And 2014 core set, oh, it can only be amazing. So I'm going to open this for the first time right in front of you right now. And we're going to see what kind of cards are in here and maybe even see some of the new abilities. That'd be cool. Maybe even get a super rare. That would be amazing. You guys let me know in the comments, you know, if, if you guys do this too. But um, obviously you have that, that smell of brand new cards and it's... Fantastic, isn't it? Here we go, and here's what, uh, here's the picture it gave me. I don't get too many boosters because I try to keep... Oh! Oh, I even got it too. Just like I like. Just like that. No peeking. No peeking. Now, some people go straight for the back for the rare. Not me. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. It's, it's, it's all about the suspense. Lovely thing on the back here for, uh, Featuring sealed play, um, actually talking about uh, the 2014 uh, Planeswalkers, which is on the mobile stuff now, uh, iPad, uh, and Android, iPhone, all that, and of course Steam, which I'm actually going to be buying here soon, I think, because I don't really have a place or people to play with around here, so I think I'm going to buy that game so I can get my magic fix. Well, let's get into this booster pack and see what we got. We got Lay of the Land. It is a sorcery, as you can see here. But we got Search Your Library for a basic land card, reveal it, put it into your hand, and then shuffle your library. Very next one, we have we got Soul Mender, and you just basically it's a 1-1 one, one human cleric. And you put him out, and once you get to that point, and you only cost one mana, that's pretty good. But uh, you tap him, and you gain one life. Got myself a black. Uh, this time, just a spirit creature. If you can see it. Oh, that's terrible looking, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So, a cursed spirit. And it is a... In with intimidate. Um, and for any of you guys who don't know, I can read this real quick. Uh, this creature can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. And being a 3-2... That's pretty good, but it is a four mana cost. Dark Favor, uh, two mana cost, so one uh, one swamp and one of any. And it's an enchantment, an aura. Enchant creature, when Dark Favor enters the battlefield, you lose one life. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus one. So you lose a life, and one of your creatures gets beefed up. Next one is Hunt the Weak, uh, four mana cost, uh, sorcery. Uh, puts plus one, plus one counter on target creature you control. Then that creature fights target creature you don't control. So very, very interesting. Um, each deals damage equal to its power to the other. Uh, here we go. Alter's Reap as our next card. As an additional cost to cast Alter's Reap, sacrifice a creature and draw two cards. Here we go, pacifism, yeah. Enchant a creature, uh, only costs two mana to get this guy out. You throw him on another guy, you throw, him on, throw him onto one of your opponent's big creatures even, and they can't attack or block, they can't do anything, basically they sit on their hands. So, another common of course, because we've had commons all across the board so far, because that's the way the deck works, or where the boosters work. We get a deadly recluse, um, good for those spider decks, good for those decks with um, that are going against some flyers, so this could either be uh, good right away, or uh, really good for your side deck, obviously. So getting the reach, uh, this creature can block creatures with flying, of course, with reach, and death touch, and it only costs two, it's a 1-2 creature here, an academy raider, yeah, and creature, he's a human warrior, uh, he has Intimidate, as we've seen, the Accursed Spirit, and and whenever Academy Raider deals combat damage to a player, 
you may discard a card. If you do, draw a card. And so our next one, I didn't get to see the next one, that's good, because I think we're getting close to the uncommon. Uh, we got a blue one finally, we finally got an island here. Uh, co mana cost of two, he's a creature, he's a merefolk, and it just doesn't want to show the text of it. Uh, and he's just a basic creature, 2-1, two, cost two, pretty cool artwork, the whole like thing with his tr with an awesome looking trident, if you can see that. Um, I don't know if he's been around for a while, but uh, that's, that's pretty pretty good, pretty basic uh, card to throw out there. Cost mana two, and get him out by round two, round three, and good stuff. So here we go, we have an uncommon finally, we have a red, a molten birth, I've heard this card before, and I, don't, I think it's been around for a while, uh, so it just got revamped into 2014. Uh, it's a sorcery. It's a mana cost of three. Put two, one one red elemental creature tokens onto the battlefield. Then flip a coin. Finally, we get one. I, fi I finally have a card that has where you flip a coin. That's awesome. Uh, if you win the flip, return molten birth to its owner's hand. Uh, another uncommon we have here is a air servant, and I believe I've seen this one before as well. And it is a creature. It's an elemental. It's got flying, so that's awesome. And uh, so it costs five to get this one out. But then once you and then you get him out, and he's a four-three. That's cool. I mean, that, that that's helpful. But here we go. If you pay three, one island plus two any, uh, colorless. I guess is what they usually say. Uh, tap target creature with flying. And let's see here. We got another uncommon called Stonehorn Chanter, and I'm pretty sure, I know, at least I recognize the artwork. I don't know about the actual card itself. Uh, he's a, it costs six to get him out. He's a 4-4 four, four, uh, Rhino Cleric, and if you pay the same price again, again, <laughs> another six, uh, Stonehorn Chanter gains Vigilance and Life Link until end of turn. So attacking doesn't cause it to tap, and damage dealt by it also causes you to gain that much life. And so the um, rare I got in this pack uh, is the Imposing Sovereign. A cost of two to get it out, and is a human creature. Creatures your opponents control enter the battlefield tap. And then of course I ended up with a land, normal, plain. And then we're back down to this card. So that has been uh, a booster opening. If I do get more of these uh, after a while, then sure, I can do more of these openings if you want. Um, but most likely, I'm going to uh, be buying the Tools of the Planeswalkers uh, 2014. And if things go well and I get that here soon, um, it'll probably be a while before I get it. Um, hopefully, hopefully to film Friday Night Magic and be able to play some people online and I lose, I lose, I win, I win oh well, look you even get tea in this um, but like, subscribe, comment guys, come on give me some like feedback, I'm all about wanting to talk to you guys and good stuff, It was a, I think it was a good deck or a good booster and so I hope you guys like this and I definitely need to do this for you guys and look Look, yeah, Boro shirt. Yes, I even changed my shirt right after making my last video just so I could do this with some magic. Yeah, I uh, can't see that too well, but hey, planeswalker thing on the back. Yes, I will see you guys later.